Let's talk about something awkward, something many guys have felt but very few will admit. That heavy, aching, almost cramping pain in the testicles when you're aroused but don't, you know, finish. Some people laugh it off, others say it's just an excuse. But here's the truth. It's a real medical phenomenon called epididymal hypertension, nicknamed blue balls. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to unpack what it really is, what causes it, what it's not, and why it matters for men's health. Once you understand the science, you'll never hear the phrase blue balls the same way again. Picture this. You're with your partner. Things are getting intense. The heart is racing. Blood is pumping. Every nerve in your body is firing in anticipation. And then suddenly it stops. No climax. No release. Instead of euphoria, you're left with a dull ache, heaviness, sometimes even a sharp pulling pain in the scrotum or lower abdomen. That's not imagination. That's physiology. And it has a name. Epididymal congestion. Here's what's really happening. During sexual arousal, the body increases blood flow to the genitals. For men, that means the penis and testicles become engorged. Think of it like inflating a balloon. Arteries bring in blood, but the veins partially close to trap it, creating rigidity. If ejaculation happens, the body releases that pressure. The pelvic muscles contract, semen leaves the body, and blood flow gradually returns to normal. But if ejaculation doesn't occur, the trapped blood and pressure linger. The testicles swell slightly, and the epididymis, the coiled tube at the back of each testicle where sperm mature, becomes congested. That's why doctors sometimes call it epididymal hypertension. Now why blue balls? The nickname comes from the fact that with all that trapped blood, the scrotum can sometimes take on a faint bluish or purplish color. It's not dangerous. It doesn't mean oxygen is being cut off. It's simply venous congestion. And while the slang is funny, the biology is very real. Let's bust some myths. Myth number one, blue balls will make you infertile. Wrong. It doesn't affect sperm or fertility in any way. Myth number two, it's a medical emergency. Wrong again. It's uncomfortable, but it's not harmful. Myth number three, the only cure is sex. Not true. While ejaculation does relieve the pressure, so can exercise, a cold shower, or simply waiting it out. Within minutes to a few hours, the body naturally reabsorbs the excess blood and everything settles back to normal. So how long does it last? For most men, the ache fades within minutes to a couple of hours. In rare cases, it may linger a bit longer. But unlike dangerous conditions such as testicular torsion, epididymal congestion doesn't damage tissue. It's like muscle soreness after a workout. Uncomfortable, but temporary. Now here's where things get serious. Not all testicular pain is just blue balls. If you ever feel sudden, severe testicular pain, especially if the testicle looks swollen, rides higher than usual, or if the pain comes with nausea, fever, or vomiting, that could be an emergency. Testicular torsion, for example, is when the spermatic cord twists and cuts off blood supply. That needs surgery within hours. Epididymitis, which is an infection, also causes painful inflamed testicles and requires antibiotics. Hernias or trauma can also mimic this kind of pain. So while blue balls are harmless, persistent, or severe testicular pain should never be ignored. So what can you do if epididymal congestion strikes? There are a few options. Ejaculation is the obvious and fastest relief. Physical activity, like running or even a brisk walk, helps redirect blood flow. A cold shower or an ice pack can also reduce swelling and pressure. And of course, you can just wait it out. Your body will naturally fix the problem on its own.